So what's up guys I'm Mesh from TechMesh and hope you are doing well. So today I'm going to show you that how to fix Redex on Wi-Fi in Windows 10 and this is a new method to fix any kind of Wi-Fi problem in your Windows 10 in 2020. You can fix your Red Cross on wireless network and these types of problem okay. So before getting started I would suggest you to please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one. So let's get started shall we. So this problem can be solved via multiple types of method some might work for you and some might work for others okay so i will try to add all of the possible methods to solve this problem so stick with me till the end to find the perfect solution for you okay so let's start with the first one at first you need to check if you have any software update or not this problem can sometimes occur via windows 10 update and we have different types of bugs okay so you need to make sure you have if you have any software update available or not just here search for update check for update or update and then here you will find check for updates okay just click on here open So here it is saying update available so if you have any software update available windows 10 update available then here you need to just click on download and then you need to just make sure you restart your computer after updating your windows 10 okay so then just check if your problem is fixed or not and if you don't have any software update then don't worry follow with me to, to the next method okay so the second method is check if the wi-fi is on so in your keyboard just check if you have any Wi-Fi shortcut available, shortcut key available on your keyboard and make sure you have turned it on, okay? And also make sure that you have turned your Wi-Fi on here, okay? You need to just here click on Wi-Fi icon. After making sure you have turned on your Wi-Fi, then you need to just follow with me to the next method. So the next method is enable Wi-Fi. So how you can do that just click on your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet icon here and then here click on network and internet settings okay just click on network and internet settings so here in so here you need to just scroll down a bit and then here you need to select network and sharing center just click on network and sharing center and here you need to just click on change adapter settings just click on change adapter settings and here you will find your wi-fi or ethernet connection and if it is disabled then it will be great just let me show you just right click on here and then let me show you just if i click on disable then it will be shown like this if it is disabled then it will be great like this and here my wi-fi wouldn't be turned on and it is it will say no not connected no internet connection no connection available so for that you need to just right click on here and then click to enable so for that just you need to just right click on your wi-fi or on your ethernet and then just click on enable you need to make sure you have enabled your wireless connection or your ethernet okay So then just close everything and you also need to make sure that you have enabled your Wi-Fi from your device manager. So here just search for device manager. Okay. And then open your device manager. Just let me show you. So in your device manager here you will find network adapter. Just click on network adapters. And here you will find all the network adapter available for your device. So here just right click on your wireless network adapter and then here make sure you have enabled it okay. So if you see disabled device it means it is enabled okay. Then check if your problem is fixed or not. I will not show that because mine is already enabled you can see. So I will not show I will not disable it again. So if it fix your problem then don't forget to hit the like button. And if it didn't fix your problem then let's move on to the next one so the number four or the next solution is reset your network so how you can do that just right click on your windows icon here and then click on settings okay just go to the settings of your device so here you need to just click on network and internet so in your network and internet just scroll down all the way 
and here you will see network reset just click on network reset and then here click on reset now okay and then click on yes and then just wait for a bit now you will get a notification like you are about to sign out windows will shut down in five minutes so just wait for five minutes okay so after five minutes your windows will be restart and then check if your problem is fixed or not so i will be back after five minutes so after restarting then here you just click on here and then check if your problem is fixed or not and if you see your wi-fi connection here then just try to connect with your wi-fi again okay just let me show you so if it didn't fix your problem by resetting then you need to follow another method of resetting so here you need to just search for cmd okay just search for cmd or common prompt and then here you just click on run as administrator okay just click on run and ad run as administrator and then click on yes so now here you need to type this following command okay ntsh space int space ip reset space reset dot txt and then click on enter and then you need to again type ntsh win http space reset proxy and then hit enter and then you need to type for ntsh space int space ip space reset hit enter and then here you need to type ip config ip config space slash release and then hit enter so then you need to type ip config space slash renew and then hit enter oops sorry I have mistyped it IP config space slash renew and then hit enter and then you need to type IP config space slash flash flash DNS and then hit enter again we typed it ip config space slash flash dns and then hit enter and then at last you need to type ntsh space win shock and then hit space reset and then hit enter and now it is saying you must restart your computer to complete the reset so then you need to restart your computer okay so after restarting your computer then check if your problem is fixed or not if it fixed your problem then don't forget to hit the like button and let me know that in the comment section below and if it didn't fix your problem then let's move on to the next method okay so the next method is pretty simple you need to just troubleshoot your computer or your network just right click on your network icon here and then here click on troubleshoot problem okay so now windows will try to detect your problems just wait for a bit and let windows do its job okay if windows identify your problem then they will try to fix it and if it is saying win troubleshooting couldn't identify this problem then just close the troubleshooter okay and let's move on to the next solution and if it if it fix your problem then that's good for you the next method is really simple that is just make sure that you restart your router for 15 to 30 seconds because sometimes your routers is the problem for no internet connection in that case make sure you restart your router and wait for at least 15 to 30 seconds and then turn it again and try okay so if the previous method didn't fix your wireless problem wireless network problem or red x red cross icon on wireless network problem so the last method is update or uninstall your wireless driver okay so i will show you how you can do that so here just type for so here just type for device manager okay just type for device manager and then click on open 
so in your device manager here you will find your network adapter so here you will find your wireless network adapter just right click on here and then click on update driver so here you can just search automatically or you can obviously do it manually and if it, the update driver didn't work for you then you can just click on here and then click on uninstall device okay and then you can just after installing device then you can just here scan for new hardware changes just let me show you here if you go to action then click on x scan for software or hardware changes then it will automatically install it again i have a complete video in this method only so don't forget to check that out if none of the methods work for you so far so don't forget to check the video in the i button to get the solution for you so if you like this video so far then don't forget to hit the like button and let me know that in the comment section below if it works for you or not and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i am mesh from tech mesh and i am signing out Thank you.